and scan. Scanning the bridges. Sam, there's something I forgot to tell you. It's about managing your BB stress levels and reducing the risk of autotoxemic attacks. There are a few things you can do if your BB starts showing signs of distress. Such as? Such as take a moment to look after it. Cradle the pot, gently rock it, that sort of thing. Out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, Bleed-through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. All right, and that is why I stopped recording before I actually start a video game. Uh, friends, denizens of the internet, hello, welcome back to another exciting episode of Death Stranding Director's Cut over here at Lost Time Gaming. I am Devo. We are jumping back into the shoes of Sam Porta Bridges, and we just had a lovely discussion about the BB that he's carrying around. Now, that being said, um, yeah, that's... That's it, I guess. Uh, we're gonna... I think we have to go in here and talk to this guy. Oh, we can... Left button, down arrow, X, soothe the BB. Yeah, that's not weird at all. Can I... Yeah, let's rock him a little. Yeah, totally. A, a little heart-shaped bubbles there. Okay, that's weird. I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop doing this. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. Yeah, I I get you. I'm I'm I, I get it. So when we last left off, we were doing Roger stuff. Oh. Nope. Network diagnostics. Corellium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know. After all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials, this one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Okay, I guess we're gonna take on orders. Uh, recovery chiral printer interface, yes. And collection chiral crystals. Uh, okay, sure. Why not? Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Uh, never, really. <laughs> uh, honestly, like, I played and beat this game, you know, several years ago, and I don't think I ever built a watchtower. Totally unnecessary. Because, like, yeah, it gives you an ability to see higher, of course, but it's just... Why Why would you need that? I, I don't get it. Why are you giving me all these PCCs? What, what, what is this here? Did you give me three of those? What? Auto arrange the cargo. 
And I've got resins. Why, why do I have resins? Oh, and the container is heavily damaged. That's unfortunate. I've got resins and metals. Why? I don't think these are for any kind of mission we have. So let's... Let's get rid of these. Because normally, whenever you pick something up, it'll, uh, it's usually for, like, a side quest or even just a little... One of those things where we pick up stuff, but, like, give it to another player in a locker so they can deal with it. Very rarely do we pick something up for nothing, unless we're stocking materials for, like, the... Chiral printer so we can make stuff. The thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints, surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Mm -hmm. Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Yeah, I mean, there's a Water giant time. crystalline handprint coming out of the ground. I mean, seen a few of them. Now, knowing where they are off hand, uh, not so much. So we gotta go steal from the mules, which they're gonna love that. We'll need to pick up some chiral crystals, which is not so great. Uh, let's remove our markers here. We don't need those anymore. Wait. There we go. And this is chiral crystals. I want to make sure I know where we're going here. Oh, that's down there. Okay, well, let's go do this first, because this is a side quest. Now, does that show up? It does kind of show up, sure. Chiro crystals. All right, let's hop in this motorcycle somebody left here. Weapons restrictions lifted. Oh, I can't. I can't use the, uh... can't use this motorcycle somebody left. That's unfortunate. I'll give it a like, though. This one's for you. This one's for you. <laughs> oh, it's, it's out of battery. You can see it on the little indicator there. That's why. Wait, can I recharge that, or...? No, I don't think so. Okay. Alright, let's boogie. We're heading out on foot then. Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. Or I could just pick this up right here. Like there we go. It's, it's just that easy. Yeah, we basically, we want to pick these up as often as we can. I don't remember what they're used for later in the game, but I'm pretty sure they're required for building, like, structures and things. Again, not 100% sure, because there's a lot of weird, uh, stuff to this game, so knowing everything after not playing it for many years is, uh, kind of impossible. Oh, is that our stuff we dropped in there before? Sam, go get that. That's our stuff. We dropped that last episode, I believe. Go, Sam, go! Oh. Uh-oh. Wait, why did that happen? But the, I was gonna say, but the sensor thing didn't come up. Oh. Yes, I get that, but I want our stuff. No, uh, we're walking directly towards the BTs. That's unfortunate. Got it, nailed it. Let's get out of here. Time to go, Sam.
Yep, come on, you can do it. Stop and grab these real quick. Yeah, the only thing I'm not sure of is whether or not the BTs actually follow us, or rather they move. Hmm? Wow, that's... Our sensor just tapped us on the shoulder and gave us a thumbs up. Totally normal thing. Either way, we got one mission complete here. And because of the nature of this game now, the, the bonus uh, about picking up the Cairo Crystals is that if you can see on the bottom of Sam's backpack, that's where we uh, stash that little cylinder. They don't really affect our weight too much. We can kind of pick them up till the uh, the cows come home, as the uh, saying goes. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges. Sam, Econ Kylie Crystal deliveries are a little different from usual. The process is pretty simple, though. Access the delivery terminal to drop off any Cairo crystals you're carrying. All right, let's drop off some Cairo crystals. Do a little hop just for fun. The legal requirement. Claim materials from the facility. What? Uh, no, I'm good for right now. Wait a second. No cargo. Claim materials. I'm confused. Oh, we gotta recycle them. Gotcha. Oh, I can only give you a hundred? That's weird. We got 112 likes. All right. <laughs> S rank. Oh, yeah. Benjamin Hancock has provided design data for the following container repair spray. Good. We needed that. Uh, new interview data required. Okay. Cairo crystals cannot be used at all UCA affiliated facilities. The amount of materials that can be used at the distribution center west of Capital Not City has increased. Good. A new option has been added to delivery terminals. Claim materials. Excess Cairo crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. Sure. Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, Larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. All right. Increasing your connection level with the facility will allow for more materials to be stored there and will make more materials available for use. Additionally, new functionality may be provided by Bridges and you may even receive a gift or two. Nice. Uh-oh. Distribution Center West of Capital Not City has provided the following new hologram data. Bridges Guard Macho. To use this data, gain access to a level 2 or higher structure and select customized structure. Okay, cool. Some of this facility's bandwidth has been shared with Sam. It, sweet. More structures can now be built within the chiral network area. The amount of material Sam can use at the distribution center west of Capital Not City has been increased. Great. Give us, give us them level ups. New title earned. You have been awarded the title of a skilled handler. Continue to strive for greater recognition. You have achieved delivery volume grade 10. You can now carry more cargo. Nice. Always good. Oh, before I forget. This is for you. Oh, stuff. All right. That's container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with timefall degradation and all that. 
Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. Yeah, we're gonna need that. I don't know, like, when, but... Alright. Yeah, thankfully... I mean, look at all these PCCs. Like, why, why are we carrying these? You only ever really need one of these. We'll get to the points where we're using a lot of the PCC stuff. We're building, like, um, like rope. Um, not rope. What the heck am I thinking? Zip lines. We're building, like, zip lines and stuff. But, like, eventually, you know, that's down the road. We don't, we don't actually need those right now. Everything else. Why are we carrying... We're just carrying random metals with us. We, we don't need this stuff either. No, not offload. That's crazy. Why would I do that? I guess we're just... Oh, that's stuff from the private locker. I was... Maybe if I learned to read, that would be good, I guess. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to take... Take one or two of these. Hang that on the tool rack. I was going to say, how many of these can I hang on the tool rack? There's so many points of information in this game. It really is staggering. And I think that was, again, one of the things that people really didn't uh, appreciate when they picked this game up was, like, how... Uh, it, it's not convoluted, but just how many things there are to this game, ins and outs and whatnot. So we've got a climbing anchor, a PCC, two container repair sprays. Uh, we don't we don't need three container repair sprays. That's a bit much. We're we're jacking up that much stuff. We should really strive to be um, more efficient than that. You know, we will take now. Eh, you know what? We'll we'll take that just for fun. Why not? We'll take our EX grenade zero, which is really just. Uh, Sam Porter Bridges bath water. <laughs> it's just really gross when you think about it. There is a correlation between elevated Corellian levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is, can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. Alright, and we're on. So, um, I'm gonna say much like the way it was for me in the... Uh-oh. Still got work to do, Sam. Yes. Let's not keep people waiting. Okay. Yeah, I like this stuff. Keep Woo! On keeping on. Keep on keeping on. So, much like the first time I played this game, I'm gonna Everybody assume on, on. that... I'm, I'm gonna figure out the ins and outs of what the best way to deal with our materials and where to store stuff as we go. I know it's one of those things you really just don't know right out the door. Locked on. Pieces of cargo currently carried. All right, so recover the chiral printer interface. Weapons restrictions lifted. Well, looks like we're going to be going uphill. Because now, if you look at this, uh, again, much like everything else in this game, our best bet's probably going up this slightly grassy but not too bad area and kind of coming down from the other side if we look at the map we theoretically could come down and loop around from the back but because I think we're gonna be running from mules at some point we're better off being able to just turn around and run the way we came instead of uh, trying to come away we're not sure of call it a rule or a habit but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful, these guys are armed. 
If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. Yeah, I'll throw my jar of shower water at them. Oh, I can attack? Yeah! Woo! All right, that's cool, but we don't need that right now. Attack a mule repeatedly to knock them unconscious. That's usually how that works. Oh, sweet. Somebody left the ladder for us. That's cool. Your boots are getting worn out. Grab the ladder. Yep, awesome. I like we didn't grab it, we just kind of like teleported to it. <laughs> A strand can be used to quickly and silently render enemies unconscious? What? Really? How does that work? So. Remember, Sam. Before you approach the mule drop site, we recommend you use a watchtower to confirm the location of the post box containing our cargo. I guess. He X grenade zero. Wait, what? What? A, that's not how. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Hold. All right. If you sneak up on a mule from behind, you can use the strand to bind them. You can also use strands to avoid mule melee attacks, although your timing will need to be just right. Wait, what What? What was that? What did I just do? I'm just kind of jiggling the rope in my hands. That's fun. Yeah, grab onto that shoulder. Yeah! I like it with the decisiveness. Which he pulls that strand off of his belt. <laughs> Great stuff. Alright, so they really want me to... Oh, you know what? I can see... Right there is one of their things. So we should probably just build a... Watchtower here, just to be on the safe side. Oh, switch the structure. There we go. Yeah, print that bad boy. Woo! Go, baby, go. No, it cannot. I really like it as a countdown timer on it, though. That's fun. Construction complete. Oh, nice. We can go up more. Yeah, it's right where the objective marker said it was going to be. Although, unfortunately, looks like there's one, two, three, three mules. What is that? Oh, that's that's a regular post box. Somebody, I assume, uh, somebody jokingly put there. All right, so great. Thankfully, it was uh, right where we thought and knew it was going to be. Now, the only problem is, I don't know an effective way to sneak past these. This is just, once you come in range, they know you're here. Like, let's try and be stealthy. Oh, I can hide in tall grass. That's fun. Oh, we've, we've had it. We've already failed. <laughs> yep. You get you get one like pulse, and then the other way they know they're. Your drop sites are really deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise. Yeah, I'm not worried about the noise. I'm worried about their automatic detectors they have surrounding their base. You moron! Yeah, sure, we'll take this. Why not? And another ladder. Heck yeah! You never know when you're going to need a ladder. Yeah, we could just come down here, it looks like. Let's uh, do a little sneaky recon. Because later on in the game, I, I distinctly remember the mules no longer being a problem. But for the first, like, oh man. 
the first three quarters of the game, you basically, anytime you interact with these guys, you want to run. And just run as hard and as fast as you possibly can. But now we gotta sneak up on this guy without getting detected. That's not what we need. We need this over here. Let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. Yeah, come on. Time for you to go to sleep. Oh, that was shockingly effective. Okay. Yep. Unlock the post box. Do it. Yes, give me the chiral printer interface. That's still a lot. Wow. Okay. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. But we're already heavy? Why, why are we so heavy? We're just carrying, like, a lot of small stuff, I guess. Okay. Well, we don't need the ladder, so we can... Actually just drop the ladder. And the metals we could probably drop too. Because as you can see, there's like things up in here we can we can take to get uh, turn-ins and stuff. So we should probably take this stuff. Let's get, let's get crazy heavy here. 95 kilos. Oh boy. That's a lot. Let's, let's, let's try this. Yeah, we're just gonna slow crouch this as slow as possible. Now, the only problem with this is that we have to cross this, like, the tiniest stream ever, but... As you can see, it's, like, surrounded... Oh, you know what? I wanna, I wanna say we're gonna, we're gonna steal a ladder and use a ladder here. This ladder we drop, we're gonna pick up and use it to cross this stream. Yeah, Savvy, I know, Sam. I know. I know, buddy. It's it's the weight of a thousand suns. I get it. But there's just no safe way we're gonna be crossing this without this ladder. Like, it seems ridiculous, but it, it is going to be so much easier than trying to do this any other way. Wow, that's, that was almost, that almost went terribly for us. You can see now, uh, we're starting to, starting to really stack up all the stuff we got in our back. <laughs> and now that seems ridiculous, but we'll actually hit a threshold of much higher ridiculousness the further we go. All right, I think we can issue crouching here. Take it nice and sleazy. Keep an eye on our terrain so we don't accidentally fall over. Nice and easy, Sam. We got a lot of stuff on our back right now. Now, our only other hiccup is going to be getting past the guy that is on the outskirts here. I don't know if we're going to run into him or not. We might be okay. For, set, for reference, I stopped holding forward about 10 seconds before he stopped moving there. Either way, um, we're loaded up to bear, but we're going to have to figure out if we can make it there without destroying anything in the next episode. Because that's all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me another exciting look into the world of Death Stranding Director's Cut. I am Devo and Lost Time Gaming. If you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.